All right, this video is going to be how to import new fonts into your project. You can see here that I'm using the default font for this text. And you can find the default fonts in the resources tab under the fonts section. And I'm on the default one, which is using a true type font, so a TTF file. And you can see that there's only the default one to select from. So how do we add more? Because these other fonts are using images. So it's nice to be able to just import a file and you get the font without having to make the image. So the first step that we need to do is we need to select a font. So you can go to many different websites. I just chose defont.com. I selected one. I made sure it was 100% free. Some will say commercial use or personal use only. And I'm going to choose this one, this VCR OSD Mono. So you click download and it downloads. After that, you're going to extract it. And you're going to open the folder and there is your TTF file. So we have that. We can put that aside for now. We can go back into our project and we can hit file and then hit open project folder and a folder like this will pop open. You'll see that you have all these different folder options and one of them is fonts. So we click into fonts and then we can come here to the TTF file that we want to import and we can copy or cut and paste it into this fonts folder. We can now close out of both of these and we can add a font. And now when we click use TTF, we can now select from both the default font that comes with the engine and the new font that we just imported. Also make sure to change the size of this font. I'm gonna do 24 since that is the size of that one. You can also disable anti-aliasing and all these other options here. This is just, this video is just to show you how to import. And now if we go to the objects, and particularly the one that was calling the show text, we can now say that we want to use this new font, font 001, I didn't change the name, and we can hit OK, and when we play test, we will see that the new font is uploaded, and you can adjust the anti-aliasing according to what you need, and when you build the game, this font will be the one that shows up for this text. So that's how you import fonts and then attach them to the resources so you can use them.